November is Diabetes Awareness Month, and tonight we're focusing on a condition called pre-diabetes. It's estimated nearly 98 million Americans have pre-diabetes. To put into perspective, that's roughly the populations of California, Texas, Florida, and Arizona combined. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain what pre-diabetes is and why it's something you've got to take seriously. I want you to think of pre-diabetes like those flashing lights at the gate that come down when the train is approaching. This is not something to ignore. It's a clear sign of danger ahead, but you can hit the brakes and avoid it if you are paying attention. Pre-diabetes is when your blood sugar levels are elevated but not yet high enough to be type 2 diabetes. If left untreated, type 2 diabetes can cause serious health issues like heart disease, kidney disease, stroke, vision loss, and nerve damage. We're also seeing it in the rest of the world as well. Um, and, you know, it's, it's something that's an eye-opener. Uh, and when you tie it into the obesity pandemic that we have going on, I think there's a lot of work to be done. Dr. Paminda Kabidogama is a diabetes expert at the Cleveland Clinic. He stresses a person can reverse prediabetes by making healthy changes in their diet and getting regular exercise. Many people are eating too many carbohydrates, which spike the blood sugar. Learning how to consume fewer carbs and eating a healthy protein and healthy fat at each meal can help stabilize blood sugar levels. Sleep and stress play a role too. Stress levels are higher, uh, our sleep is not as good, our diet is not as good. We tend to be more sedentary, especially with COVID. I think we were a lot more sedentary. And now I think people are starting to kind of realize that. So all these concepts together have brought out all these chronic diseases and prediabetes is one of them, just like obesity, high blood pressure, high cholesterol is part of it. Now, prediabetes is diagnosed using a blood test. Now, often people don't notice any symptoms, so it's really important to be getting that annual checkup. Now, if you do receive a diagnosis of prediabetes, take it seriously. Do some research and, if possible, see a dietitian to figure out what changes you need to make to turn things around. Back to you. All right, thanks, Doc. If you have health insurance, you should check your plan to see if it covers visits with a registered dietitian or nutrition counseling. Many plans do, especially if you're at risk of developing a condition like diabetes.